The journey to Jerusalem began for the Jewish people 4,000 years ago in this week's Parsha. And it is a journey within a journey, its own journey. Abraham, Abraham, the first Jew, arrives for the first time at Jerusalem, Eretz HaMoriah, the land of Moriah, for the Akedat Yitzchak, the Akedah in this week's Parsha. And it is a separate journey. The first journey, Lech Lecha, in Parsha Lech Lecha, was Hashem guiding Abraham Avinu to leave, to go to the promised land, the land of Canaan. And with the very same words at the end of this week's parsha, the same words, Lech Lecha, Hashem says, Kachnaik Mincha, take your son, your only son, etc. The Lech Lecha el Eretz HaMoriah, Vale Hashem go for yourself to the land of Moriah. And we see that it's a journey within a journey. Even one who has arrived in the promised land, there is still a distance to go to tapping into the spiritual purpose and destiny of the world. Moriah. What does Moriah mean? Moriah, a strange word, only mentioned here for the first time and only one other time in all of Tanakh, in the book of Chronicles, where it says that Shlomo HaMelech in chapter uh, 3 of Chronicles 2, Shlomo builds the temple in Yerushalayim in Hara Moriah on Mount Moriah. What does Moriah mean? It means everything which is morally and spiritually good emanates from this spiritual epicenter of the world. The Midrash Rabbah says, can mean a number of things, Moriah Milashon, or it is light which emanates to the world. Moriah Milashon Hora'a, like Moriah, which teaches, uh, teaches us values. Moriah Milashon Mar'eh, it shows us the way. Everything about the city is uh, somehow inextricably linked with the essence of, the hum of human destiny and, of course, the Jewish mission. And I'd like to invite you, above all of us at World Mizrahi, to join us the entire global Jewish community affiliated to Mizrahi and beyond to be in Yerushalayim for Yom Yerushalayim. We are so privileged that Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs, who I'm sure you've seen the video, is one of our global ambassadors joining us for these occasions, has, is joining us and has invited you. And we'd like you to join us to be here for these three, four days together, where we will be together at Hara Moriah, Eretz Moriah, at the Kotel, at the very moment where 50 years ago, the heroes of Israel came as the emissaries of all of us, the Jewish people, bringing us to the holiest place for so many parts of humanity and us, the Jewish people. We will be there at the Kotel singing Hallel and thereafter celebrating at the very same time with many of them today, uh, 50 years later. And I want to end just with an incredible fact about Jerusalem, which is not so well known. By the very latest, 1880, before the first Aliyah of the modern era, Already there were a majority of citizens of Jerusalem were Jews, the majority. Some say by 1830, certainly by 1880. For 150 years, the majority of citizens in this incredible city uh, have been Jews. And incredibly, in the year 1948, where uh, there was only West Jerusalem, and there were 600,000 Jews living in Israel, 100,000, one of every six, lived in West Jerusalem. And only 19 years later, the Six Day War, the miracles that we are so familiar with and will be celebrating, brought the city together, where today it is the largest city in Israel in terms of space and population. Over 800,000 civilians, half a million Jews coming together at this epicenter of the world. Please join us. You can see on our website, our webpage, mizrahi.org slash 50 Look at the schedule, look at the highlights, look at the events. It's only six months away. Join us to be front and center for this unforgettable historic moment in time where all of us should come together to celebrate as one. Shabbat Shalom.